Good morning, nesties. It's Netta from <laughs> from the nest. I'm coming out doing my my morning walk, and I look around my corner, and I'm like, oh, I've been compromised. Somebody intentionally opened my little gate over here. Not my gate, but um, how I keep my brassicas in while they're um, growing, so that I can stop doing all that worm picking every day. So let me go over here and see what's going on. This is usually all clipped down. You see this? Open. Torn apart. Somebody intentionally was trying to get in here. Now, I see my clips are pop. And not only that, stupid erratic moth flying around so now I gotta get in here and see what's going on look at this somebody wanted to know what was going on in here possum it broke my clips here not my dog because my dogs are in the house and they're not left unattended in the yard so, let's see what's going on. Alrighty. That wasn't nice. Who's up to bed out here? What it could have been a possum, could have been anything. And I know it was disappointed they didn't find anything, nothing to eat in here.
Everything seems to be good thus far. I don't know. This is the next biggest one from seed. There's another one over there that's pretty big from seed. And this one over here I've been letting survive. The other two over here, I threw them out and I was sick of babysitting them. The two tomatoes over here that um, were just doing nothing, I threw them out. I was sick of babysitting them. It was too hot for them. There was two over there. I cut them down, threw them out. I cut kept a little piece of it and just letting it root off. My lettuce is coming back alive in here. This one's empty. Um, Really good. Okay. Along there, there's some greens growing. I sorted out a whole bucket of them over here and separated them. You space them out, and eventually, when those get tall enough, I'll space those out. Uh, everybody else looks really good. Yeah. I don't know who was being nosy, but they both. They didn't care for anything, they didn't do anything. And you haven't seen me jump yet, so they're not still in here. But I got a lot of things that's trying to, a lot of new flowers that are trying to come this final day. So he can stay out. He looks like he's struggling. This was just um, one that had died off, and I had it in some water, and it rooted, so I just put it in the pot. So, I think that's it, guys. No harm, no foul. They wanted to see what was going on. They saw that there was nothing in there. Maybe it was chasing a lizard or a frog. I don't know. I don't see any damage to my leaves, so I'm good. So, I'm closing the cage. <laughs> Well, it's July 19th. I have completely revamped my yard. 
what was working, what wasn't working. Let's see what's going to go on. Corn seems to be doing good. Something has attacked my um, watermelon again. I sprayed it like crazy. So if there were any worms going it, and it seems to be putting off some new shoots over here. This is where the snake likes to hang out. I'm gonna get like CC and stump it to death with that um with a hoe. My okra is doing pretty good. Corn's doing well. Like somebody's taking a couple of bites out of my okra over here. Is it this one? Yeah, you can see that one. A couple of holes over there. That one looks good. Keep that one covered up. That's another squash. It's not getting enough sun. It's light scare. <laughs> There's all kind of new life in these containers. My frog is over here somewhere. Look at this beauty here. Let's see if I can turn her around. Nope. That was my first sunflower that bloomed. Oh, she's doing fine. Nectarine's tree is doing great. Uh -oh. The broccolis are hanging in down there. The okra is so big and pretty. There's one here. And there's one back over there. And there's another sunflower. Here. Somebody's coming way up there eating on it. I've got to figure out. It's just a smell. Oh, my little peppers over here. The little pepper bush, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven peppers on it. Pretty amazing. I don't know when to pick them up. They're about the size of a, a half dollar. Oh, crap. I left my soil out here. And as you see, there's my new box that I'm building. I'm just throwing stuff out there because I have all my seedlings growing. That's going to go into the box and I'll get my seedlings going in about four weeks. I understand you will leave them alone and let them grow. And by then I have my box filled up and I'll plant everything in there. Eggplants over there. This little eggplant down here is stock producing. I don't know if it's a determinant, if even eggplants come in determinants, but it's little. It gave about four or five um it's an ivory eggplant it has another oh there's another bloom who knows i don't know if it's going to keep growing or stop this pepper here keeps giving flowers right here but it ain't doing nothing nothing here's another one here it gave me a bell pepper one time and that I definitely don't want anything. I don't like standing water without a net over it. And I forgot to dump this out. That's old. Another sunflower trying to open. Another sunflower trying to open. A lot of stuff going on here so i tell you it was trial and error with this spring garden it wasn't the easiest for a first time garden i didn't get much stuff going on but i did learn quite a bit so um make sure i stay on schedule when i start my seedlings i understand 
sowing directly in the seed and then it says 190 to 100 days to harvest does not mean the same thing as having starter plants that's been growing already from three to four weeks that you put in the ground and then you have harvest in a couple of weeks it's not the same thing i learned that so therefore for my fall harvest i am completely prepared <laughs> so in four to five weeks i will have um onions and broccoli and more I planted so many onions and garlic and flowers and peppers and more basil all that stuff this bucket here is full of brassicas um, kale collards cabbage mustards all that is in here to grow and they were all clustered up or just threw them in there but yesterday I took my time and replanted them and separated them so they're all sitting in here. I got a bust my ass. So I'm gonna be ready to get everything in the ground this high, <laughs> learn the term and harden off and ready to survive the outside. That's why these babies here are still covered up because I want for them to be strong enough so when something does come to attack it, it's not looking a hot mess. And okra seems to be, man, what a, what a, what a fruit. It's resilient. Okay. So that is me preparing for my fall harvest. Um, my tower over here is doing fine. I put a couple of lettuces in there. I have some more okra over here and carrots growing. Sparsely over here, sparsely over there. Bruce has been evicted from that spot there, so that's why I know he's over here somewhere. We need you guys over here. Oh, sorry for the sign. Okay, so now we're up under my trellis, which the plan is for this is to have All my tomatoes growing in this little open section on the outside over here. That's the plan. I've learned here in Zone 9B in sunny Central Florida, tomatoes do not like this heat and they struggle. And I got tired of watching them struggle. So I pulled them up and threw them in the garbage and I'll start all over again. Straight up. Ooh, can't go there. Let me bring you guys in. Uh oh. Um, here we go. So over here, which I have some more of my stuff fenced in, because you know that erratic ass moth that flies around laying her egg everywhere. She ain't got no respect for nobody. So I had a whole mess of worms on my peas. So I cut them all off. I try not to spray them. I did spray a little bit, but I got them and nipped them and put them in that oven. And I harvested some black eyed peas yesterday. And I thought these were green beans, but they're those, uh, it was those purple whole peas, so black eyed peas. So it seems to be safe behind this net. And then back over here is a cucumber that's looking quite beautiful, I must say. And there are no new holes on it, no nothing eating on it. There's another cucumber, um, pickling cucumber back over here that's growing. And then I have another canister over here that has all sorts of new growth that's in it. And it's a smorgasbord of all kind of stuff that's in there. And my sweet potato seems to be doing fine. I lined up all my blackberries over here. So this is Blackberry Lane on the east side of the um, bed. On the south, north side of the bed are all eggplant and, um, and blueberries. And over here, 
just south of the bed or a closer look of the eggplant. Yeah, there's an eggplant there. Beautiful okra here that has okra grown. Um, this was giving me plenty of jalapeno peppers earlier and stopped. I did let one little tomato bush that fell over and it's doing its own thing. Back over here it has one little cherry tomato on it and it's growing. I don't bother with it because I don't tend to come back here. So it's doing its own thing. And the snake likes to hang out back here. This is one of my first marigolds. Two little um, things here. This was my baby here that about died. And she came back full. She came back strong. Alrighty. So, and that one little tomato that's been surviving through all of this chaos. See if I can zoom in on her. Right here. She's hanging in there. I don't bother with it. I don't touch it. I've been cutting leaves off of it. She's in there with the basil, by the rosemary, by the <laughs> marigold. Hopefully things are successful with that. I did leave that one, so... And I just threw in another one of those in there. It's just doing whatever. I don't bother with it. My little foyer had green beans in them. I took the green beans out. They weren't doing so hot. Oh, I forgot to tell you, back there by the lemon tree, along that gate right there on the south end of the house, house whole lot mess of green beans and whole beans. And this is my fabulous seat for my garden. When I come out here, only thing about it, it gets wet every day. I don't like that. So I'll come out here with the um, with the sprayer, just like the um, Alrighty, so look at this. Dying. All of them are dying. They have some type of mold on them. That's what I get from buying roses on discount. I thought I was getting this thing, but they're all dying. So when I start my new rose bed, I'm going to order bare root roses and go from there. So they were pretty. So, and they're infested with mold black spots or whatever it's called. I did read that I can spray buttermilk on them and I might try that before I give up on it completely but that's going back to the store to be refunded. Probably saw that mango fall. Squirrels are still at it. And I think that's about it guys. I really wish I would have grown more um uh oh my camera's coming out. You fell in the dirt. I really wish I would have grown more sunflowers. Have a good one. Bye-bye.